Be quick guys, before this video starts, I'm gonna be doing a Q&A real soon, so if you have any questions you want me to answer in the video, leave in the comments down below and enjoy the video. It feels good to hold the camera like that, but I'm not gonna be vlogging today. I actually miss vlogging, but I'm not gonna be vlogging today. I'm actually gonna be cleaning 12 different shoes that I got. I haven't cleaned in a while. And I need to clean them, I'm gonna show you right away. But I'm gonna be using Crib Cure for that occasion. I'm not, I'm, it's not sponsored, I will. Crib, if you want, if you're watching this video, sponsor me with a few stuff, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna be using Crib Cure. I'm gonna show you that you can use it on all materials, all different types of shoes. I'm gonna show you the shoes right now. Like, this is a random video. I don't know if you like such videos, let me know. And if you have any other questions, ask me down below and I will try to help you guys. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Give this video a like. Yeah, let's start with the video. So as you can see, I got the Air Forces ones. I got the Cortez, Kendrick Lamar's. Actually, I was on baseball field with them. They're really dirty. And I got the 700s, 500s, OG Bristol's Off-White. Yeezys, Elements, Acronyms, Bristol's, and other Yeezys. We got different shoes over here. We got the strong weather shoes. We got the blazers as well. Yeah, as you can see, those are the shoes I'm gonna be cleaning today. Like, look at those Yeezys over here. They used to be white. Look at them. So, I'm gonna clean one side of each shoe and show you guys like the before and after. And then I'm gonna do the rest when I finish the video. I'm not gonna show you like both sides of each shoe because it's gonna take long for no reason. So, I'm gonna clean one side of the shoe. And show you the before and after. Let me know if you see any difference. If you think it did work, how about I want to win my shoes? Yeah, let's go and do that. So I'm gonna start with the zebras as you can see over here. They're pretty dirty. Look at the soul. So yeah, let's start and hopefully they will turn out like new. All you need is gonna be in this package that you can buy everywhere, actually, every sneaker store, I guess. And all the instructions on how to use it will be inside as well. Have the brush, you get the rip cure, the wipe to wipe the shoes after you clean them. Actually, I have I don't have much left, so let's let's hope it's gonna be enough. So we're gonna put a little bit into the water, like a few drops. I'm not gonna clean the laces because like you can clean you take him off and clean them separately but I'm gonna keep them because they're not much dirty so I don't care just gonna put spots on them but I don't care just leave them like that so as you can see it like I need to let it dry but the first look after I clean them they're still a little bit wet, but yeah, look like they look brand new now. Look at this all. You can actually clean it more. I'm just gonna go fast. I don't, I don't want to just want it to be like 100% like new. So I'm just gonna clean it through quick. Looking really nice, and the upper is just perfect again. Thing like new on the upper, and yeah, I'm actually happy with the result. So I'm gonna do the second shoe now, and let's take a look at it. So the second one I'm gonna be doing is the OG Prestos. I didn't actually clean them in my life. Like I got them, I don't know when. And I've never cleaned them, I don't know why, I'm actually stupid, but yeah. The upper actually you can't see, but it's a little bit dirty. But the main thing is the midsole and the sole. Look how dirty they are, so I'm just gonna clean them. And hopefully I'm, I'm not gonna ruin the shoe, because the material is, look, is looking sensitive over here. So I hope I won't ruin it, let's see. Yeah, that's the result actually you can't see much difference in the sole like here it's still black because of the shoe itself I wore I wore it so much and you can't get rid of the black on the bottom so yeah but actually the sides are a little bit cleaner I don't know if you can see it on camera but yeah they're a little bit cleaner I mean I wore them really much I need to take care of them like more and I would recommend if you have shoe tree at home to put it inside the shoe after you clean it so the form of the shoe will stay the same and won't crumble or anything 
I, didn't, I, I have sadly no shoot trees at home right now, but I'm gonna get some soon. But yeah, as I said, I would recommend putting a shoot tree inside after you clean him. And yeah, let's go and look at the next shoe, which are the acronyms. I actually, the top box area is messed up. Like, I don't know if you see it on camera real well, but yeah, it's actually black. And the side as well. So this one is pretty easy to clean like as you can see it looks brand new now with a few brushes it was really easy to clean I'm actually happy because I had like this black spot since like the first day I wore them they were directly like dirty but now they are clean finally let's move on to the next one the next one we're gonna clean off-white blazers like they're really dirty like look at that I don't I actually can't see the screen They're actually like messed up. I know blazers look better when they're messed up, but spilled so many drinks on them. And yeah, they're just sticky as well. That's freaking disgusting. But yeah, they're pretty messed up. And I took off the laces because I need to fix the laces. And I hope to clean, like I, I'm gonna try to clean them. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Top, they are also scratched. Oh my God, I'm never doing that again in my life. I'm never going to a party with blazers on. Yeah, let's do it. They're looking brand new right now, like, look at that. Oh my god, I'm so happy. For the bottom, I didn't clean it much. I can clean it a little bit more, but as I said, I have no time now to clean it so much. But I'm gonna show you, like, how to clean the upper and everything. And I hope I did, because, like, the upper is looking brand new. Look at that, like, look at the midsole. Like, it was black before, and now it's totally clean. I might try something on them, I don't know yet, but I might try something here on the inside as well but I'm happy that I got them back like they're looking brand new now only the scratches over here but yeah it doesn't matter not a big deal so yeah let's move on to the Nike React actually this shoe is easy to clean because of the upper material like if you own a shoe you know what I'm talking about but yeah let's clean it real quick I don't know if you're gonna notice a big difference because you can't really see the difference on this material but I think we will see. Let's see if we can notice any difference. That's the before. Let's take a look if you can notice anything different. Actually, yeah, I do notice the difference. To be honest, it looks it looks cleaner now. Like the upper. I didn't know that it was really like it was really dark before and now it's it's like it's clean and the midsole is also cleaner and the sole as I said you can go a lot like you can brush it two or three times more than I did to get it like 100% clean but I'm not gonna do that again but yeah as you can see that's after it's looking clean and nice and let's move on now to the Cortez like I went to the baseball field with them and they followed the sand on the front and make sure when you clean the shoes, like if you clean, if you want to clean so many shoes, make sure to change the water and clean the brush after a few shoes because the brush will get a little bit like dirty and the water as well, and it will get the shoes dirty, not clean. So make sure to keep them clean and change the water and clean the brush after like five, six shoes. So yeah. So that's the before, as you can see, it's pretty dirty over here. Let's see and if we can clean them or not. I hope it comes off. If not, I'm, I don't know, I'm screwed.
So yeah, I need to let them dry up a little bit, but that's the result. They are pretty clean, I would say. But like, because they had sand on them, when I cleaned the bottom, it went up to the upper and it was a mess. Uh, yeah, but now they're clean, I hope. And I need to let them dry a little bit. But the sole, I can clean it more, but as I said, I'm not gonna do it again today. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty new. It's looking like brand new now. Okay, that was a fail. And now let's move on to the next one, which is gonna be the Oreos, the Yeezy Oreos, because the stripe over here is messed up a little bit. You can see you have black dots on the bottom as well. Oh my God, that's there. So. I need to wear gloves next time, but yeah, let's clean them up. It's gonna be an easy one. These are always easy to clean. I changed the water and cleaned the brush, so I need to put a little bit more. It's actually empty now, I need to find a new one. So it took literally like one minute off. Oh my god, I made a mess. Anyways, it took like a minute to clean it. Look at them. They're like brand new now. I swear, like this is like these are best shoes to clean. Like you need just one minute, a few brushes, and that's all. And you get a brand new shoe. So yeah, now let's move on to the Sean Water Spoons. Actually, the upper is pretty perfect, like there's nothing on it. But I'm gonna clean the bottom because I love this shoe and I wanna keep it fresh always. I don't wear it much, but this is one of my favorite shoes. All time favorite. Like, look at this beautiful sole as well and the shoe itself. But yeah, I'm gonna clean the sole. It's gonna be a re an easy one. When you clean the sole, you should be careful. Like, you, I, I would brush it like that rather than that. So that the water or like the the foam will go down the upper and it's gonna mess it up so I would just rather brush it like that I know it looks stupid but that's what I like to do to keep the upper clean and protected like around 34 seconds for this result but it's looking like brand new I actually like it you can see a few black spots that's for sure but I mean as I mentioned 20 times before if you brush it three four more times you will get the perfect look and the clean look and if you have scissors you always take like you always have small stuff stuck between the lines and you would you can take them off with the scissors I'm gonna show you right away but yeah I'm actually happy with the result I love this shoe and I'm I might double up on them, so yeah. So you just take the scissor and just like push it between the lines, and you will get the stuff out. Because like when you have such a sole, stuff will get stuck between the lines, glass sometimes, and it's weird stuff. So yeah, make sure to always keep the sole clean. Go the 500s. I don't wear this very much, but I wear it a few times, and the times I wore it, it was like dirty outside. I don't know where I went with them, but. The sole is pretty dirty and back at the front I have a black spot so the material is suede up here so I'm, I don't know how it's gonna turn up because if the brush is dirty it's gonna make the whole suede dirty hopefully not so yeah let's see Yeah, that's a quick result. I'm um, actually happy with it. As you can see, a few brushes, a few seconds. It does not have to take long. If you do it like every week or every second week, for every shoe you wear, you keep your shoes, your sneakers clean and always, make sure to always keep them clean. So yeah, it took me only 3 se 34 seconds to get this result. So yeah, let's move on now. The 700s. Actually, this one is the same Thing. like the upper is perfect but the bottom a little bit dirty on the side so yeah let's clean the sides and see it might take a few seconds took me a few seconds and look at that they are brand new 
Like I love Yeezys because they're the easiest shoes to clean and it took like a few seconds. And the upper does not get like, does not get dirty really quick so that's what I like about the shoes as well. But yeah, it took a few seconds to get this look, to get this result. Yeah, let's move on now to the Air Forces actually. Those ones I wore on, the, on a tennis court once and I cleaned them like some wet wipes. But they still look, I don't know, they clean but dirty at the same time. So I'm gonna clean them and see if I can get them a little bit quieter. Actually those are one of my favorite Air Force ones. And I got them for free. I guess they are a little bit cleaner now. They look a little bit whiter. Or am I tripping? I don't know that. I think they look cleaner now. Which is nice, took a few seconds as well. Last two for the day. Zooflux, I don't know how to call this more life for God. But this one like, it turns like, it's multicolor when you put the flash on it. I really love this shoe. But I went to a party with it and it's pretty messed up as you can see. It's sticky and it's dirty and it's everything. This is the last one. I'm gonna try and clean it. Oh my God. Let's see how it's gonna turn out. Pretty easy to clean for some reason. I don't know why it took me like a few minutes, but it was really dirty. And now look at that, They're looking fresh, clean. Oh my god, they look really different now. They look like really different shoe, but I I love it. Like I know it's it was hyped when it came out, but I really love this shoe. So yeah, never mind the homeless look. That's my video for today, I guess. I cleaned just one pair of each shoe, so now I'm gonna go and continue the rest, and then edit the video. It's freaking hot in here, I'm, I'm, I don't know. As you can see over here, it's a mess. I need to continue cleaning the shoes. If you like this video, please give it a like. I, it took me a while to do it, so yeah. Just like it for the effort. And I guess I will see you in the next one, peace.